Thank you for landing back on Packer Avenue. Today, we are in Berlin. We're on Kahnstrasse. It's in the district of Charlottenburg. It's between Liebnitzstrasse and Wilmersdorfer Strasse, and we are going to 44 Chicken. That's 44 C-H-K-N. They've only been open for about three weeks right now, and it is Korean fried chicken. They're serving it up, it's good. They've got wings, they've got chicken sandwiches, they've got bowls, and I we're gonna get a chance to meet Ali. He's the founder and the inspiration behind this restaurant. We're gonna find out about his inspiration and we're gonna see how they put some of this chicken together. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and make sure you tell a friend. Let's go inside. This is actually not just flour. There's a lot of uh, ingredients in it. I don't know if you see it, like there's a lot of spice in it. Even this one is different. It's not just milk, buttermilk. We made it on our own. So, Putting Colonel uh, Sanders to shame. <laughs> Putting Colonel Sanders to shame. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So we put the chicken in it, all right? Fry it one time, uh -huh. all right? And then um, when, when uh, an orange comes, uh, 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 we fry it a second time. Awesome, way to go. That's it. Okay, so like as promised, uh, we've got the owner, the inspiration behind this brand new store. This is a really unique opportunity for us because this is like, this is a, you've been here what, maybe three weeks, right? It must be already three weeks. Just yeah. about three weeks, yeah, right? So three. I run around, I see it, it, and it's open. And this place is, you're killing it. There's people in here all the time. Thank you so much. Know, Thank you so much. Right? It's it. a good Appreciate thing. Thank you so much. What was the inspiration behind this? I was living in China. Uh, I was just uh, did like an internship there. I do have actually a lot of Asian friends, to be honest. I love animes, so I'm a lot of like a lot into Asian culture. So you were there, you liked it, and I, you brought it exactly. home. Exactly. So I brought it home. I just started to cook and said, you know what? Let's go. Why not? Let, let's try it. Unique about our Korean fried chicken, I would say, are these the the, the uh, sauces. I would say okay. because uh, these ingredients um, are. Mm, a bit different than the Korean shops you have here. The main key is what? Um, the spices. Well, I love your decor too. Right? Thank you so the much. The neon, everything is cool. It's Thank very clean. So it's very modern, and it, uh, so it almost looks like I was talking to Melissa. You've got great staff here, also. Thank you and, so much. Thank you. Uh, I asked, is this, is this like a chain by any chance? Uh, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> I'm, I'm uh, trying to build a chain, to be honest. Uh -huh. And, but it, and it has that look to it though. Not just. Hi, who are you? Not just. Hi, uh, and you? Good, and your name? My name is Laura. Hello, Packard Avenue. Good owner here. Yes, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> That's why I love doing this. I meet like really I love that. Like I meet you, I will get to see new businesses and talk to people. And but you did a good job right now. You did a very good job right now. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> I just have fun. I like people. Okay. And it's a pretty cool thing. And what are we going to try today? Um, I would say we try today our Korean burger. Okay. We got a brioche bun, we got the uh, uh, chicken in it, the uh, mokcho salad, which is a kraut salad. Okay. All right. I'm going to just have to dig into this burger to get started with. Uh, they used the brioche, you saw the brioche roll. This is our brioche bun. All right. Is this homemade or this do is, you uh, have this made Actually somewhere? homemade, but we let someone actually made it. Right. But okay. every day, we get it every day fresh. They have their own bakery handling this stuff for them. Uh, and a, a little bit different. It's not like a, like a bun itself, but it's like sliced brioche. I want to get to this before it gets too soggy on the bottom as well. But we got a nice, what looks like a beautiful, juicy piece of chicken. I mean, that is just amazing looking. And in for the bite, gotta get there. I don't know if you can hear that, but I've got some serious crunch in here. Um, a beautiful bite. And we were talking about these seasonings. This is a, a serious um, Korean kimchi, spicy, delicious bite. That chicken is amazingly moist and, and delicious and beautiful. I mean, that's an amazing bite right there. It really is. Um, it's got a little bit of spice to it, uh, Asian flavor to it. It's got, from what I can tell, we've got some cabbage in there. We've got some, uh, there's a red cabbage mixture. Mokcho salad, which is a kraut salad. Okay. All right, which is also seasoned. The brioche is nicely grilled on the outside as well. I like that. But that grill on the outside really makes it, it really crisps up that bite. Really nice bread texture. Uh, what else? Yeah, what about the bowl? Let's try the bowl, I would say.
So digging into this bowl, we have got like a ton of different flavors in here, uh, starting out with the rice, but you've got to understand it's got, everything is so well mixed together. There seems to be a real carryover with some of these dishes. A lot of the uh, same flavors and stuff put together, mixed together and to give you unique flavors and different tastes uh, throughout the menu. It's like simple combinations, simple food, but put together in a way that um, gives you a lot of different options and choices. This is a beautiful bite for all you kimchi lovers out there. It's like wonderful. This reminds me of the Buddha Bowl days. Um, you know, such a beautiful selection of things. Every bite is a new bite, a new fresh bite. The kimchi, the rice, the pickled cucumbers, the Korean mayo sauce, the chicken, the whole combination here. Uh, great bite. Let's do the bites. Sounds good. So we got a chicken bite up close and personal. Got a nice little glaze on the outside of it. Listen to the crunch. The crunch is tasty. Uh, we saw that all that being breaded up in the back there. Uh, their, their marinade and their uh, seasoning, their flour seasoning preparation is uh, really nice. Double fried. The breading gives it that um, southern fried chicken kind of flavor to it, but that double fry makes, gives it a really nice uh, crispy texture. That coating is definitely a star to this mixture here. And last but certainly not least, we've got these fries and they have a really interesting little crisp on the outside of them. Now I have to admit, um, I got to these last and I said last but not least and uh, these are so much, uh, there's way over the top on expectations. I was told that when the chicken is fried, this is fried in the same oil. You used to try to keep it separate. Part of that dredge that goes on the chicken adheres to the potatoes. And it's almost like they're coated. They have this coating on the outside. Bye, have a nice evening. Bye, nice meeting you. Salut. Okay, take care. But they are really good. These are almost like a coated French fry. Not double fried with that dredge from the chicken and then just coats these fries and it really gives them both delicious taste with the seasonings on it and a really wonderful texture. That's a really good fry. So, great shout out. Thank you so much for your You're hospitality. Welcome. This is amazing. Uh, you're kicking it. You really are. Right? Thank Proud you. Thank you. you. Keep Thank up you. the good work. It's amazing. Thank you so much for being with us. We really appreciate it. We love bringing it to you. Support them. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for your support. Uh, thanks for being with us. We really appreciate it. We love bringing this to you. And until next time, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and make sure you tell a friend. And see you next time here on Pack Gravity. Ciao.